Nice to see you again. Hmm. Let me guess. You're here uh -huh. to see how you can share information from M-Files to your uh -huh. colleagues and associates, aren't you? Well then, let's dive straight into it, shall we? Like many functions in M-Files, it all starts with a right-click. And you will see an array of options for sharing this document. Let's start by checking out the options for sending information to your associates not using M-Files. You can send the document as a traditional attachment in its original file format, or convert it into a PDF on the go. Since nobody actually wants big attachments filling their inbox, I would suggest sending links. Public link allows you to create a download link of a document. Just keep in mind that the document can be downloaded by anyone with access to this link. However, the links expire according to your choosing and can be closed even earlier. It's all up to you. To share information with your colleagues with access to M-Files, I highly recommend sending links. I always send these links since they can be opened with mobile and web access as well. They can also be placed within the text in the email and in a document when needed. Links are safe and secure since only a person with both access to M-Files and at least reading rights to the information can open the link. In addition, using links keeps your version history intact since there are no loose copies flying around and the true original stays in M-Files. How about that? Oh, before you go anywhere, let me show how you can easily save your emails and attachments to M-Files. This time, we start in Outlook and surprise, right-click. You can save the email message or only its attachments from here. Now this looks familiar again. Just describe what you're saving and let M-Files handle the rest. You can also find these functions under the M-Files ribbon, or you can simply drag and drop the messages into M-Files. Or on top of an existing one, if you already have a previous one in M-Files and you're now receiving an updated version from your associates. It's usually most convenient to save your messages as Outlook message files. This allows you to reply and forward messages directly from M-Files. Pretty neat, huh? Good thing you stayed for the last tip. Now you're officially done with this video. And as always, I hope to see you again soon.